Hello everyone, my name is Mr. Frogger. Welcome to the Northern Lights S&P, and this is episode 25. And as with tradition on my series, yes, it is tradition if this is the second one and we'll do it for both, it's time for a world tour. So, and we will start by the edge of our village in the farming area where we have a little pig pen. We got these later in the game, so we didn't really use them as much, hence why there's only three of them. But I do like the pots all as dirt and the kind of troughs, and I think generally it looks quite nice. We then have one of our custom trees. Um, this one, yeah, I'm not as happy about, but I think it looks pretty nice. Leading into our large farm area, and up to our little farmhouse and stable. I really like this little well. I like the combination of the brick and a granite blocks with the deep slate. I think it just balances it off very nicely. We have our horses that we gained in the last episode and our lovely kind of stable in a very similar style to um, the other buildings in this world. In this little building here, we have our villagers. I love this little farmhouse with this kind of flower garden and this little front porchy awning area looks quite nice and inside we have our villagers nothing too spectacular in here but um in the next series i really do want to do more with villagers so i might get into villagers into the early game one thing with all these builds is i really do enjoy the deep slate and then the kind of redder bricks and wood combination together i think it like they really stand out well together so we continue down this path here. We have our other livestock, our cows and our sheep, and they back onto this a lovely little um, wall here around the back, which we texted up with dripstone and tuff and cobble. And I think it looks pretty cool. We have a little water source leading into a little pond here, which I really like again with our um, soul soil as a part of the riverbed. And I think I really love doing that. And I'm looking forward to having mud as another option to do that with in the future versions. Then we have a starter area with our little kind of starter farm and our little starter house, which I still really like. And it was a very good start with um, small enough, but also big enough that there was enough storage, right? felt starter material didn't feel too taxing to build then we have our new tree from a recent episode which i am still in love with and i think i will do a little um short tutorial on this style of arched curvy tree but make it a dead tree i think and we have our garden here which is looking great i really enjoy these trellises at the back and our trees around the back with more wall texture or cliff texture. The next uh, build around here is our big tree. And yes, some parts of it, maybe these leaves, are not as good as they could be if I was to do it now. But I'm really happy and um, really impressed with how well this worked out. We cross our little bridge here and we come into the front garden. Now I've added a few leaves around, experimenting with a few ideas, and I'm not 100% convinced by it, but uh, I think it is quite nice to have something different there. We have a little garden out front with some um, plants and some flowers on this side, and a little doggies. If we go up the stairs on the side, I really love the curve of these stairs around here into our little lovely chill library and enchanting setup. We have our map area, which is a looking cool. And when we go through our front door, we have our hallway, which I still think looks nice. The combination of the blue blocks with the dark oak into our kitchen. Um, which I really enjoy the darker light in here. I feel like it really kind of shows off the light level change in, in here compared to the rest of the house. We have around the back here our bedroom, which was very much B-dubs inspired, which I still like, and I'd like to experiment more with the detailing side of it in the next series. And in here we have our storage room. And while we're in here, let's do something a little bit special. Special. In here I have a bunch of gold and netherite scrap, which will make us four netherite ingots. And there is an advancement, if I can find it, a full set of netherite armor, which we can do. We grab ourselves a smithing table, we place down our smithing table, we enchant our helmet, our chest plate, our leggings, and finally our boots. Nice. 
and then we put the chest plate back in our gear and never use it again. In this build, I really enjoy the combination with the bricks, granite, and dripstone together, as well as the note blocks is a bit more detail. And on the floor, the combination of jungle in um, stripped and uh, plank form, as well as uh, the dark oak in the same kind of combination, I feel really works well. As we walk along here, we get to our nether tree, which I think was the first one of our kind of custom jungle trees. And I will leave the um, tutorial in the description again, because I find that it was a really, really fun way to get a nice custom tree very quickly. We have our nether garden, which is dangerous, but lovely and overgrown. Inside, we have some nice decor with the uh, blackstone. I think looks quite nice in here. And when we cross into the nether, we have another tree in here. The kind of same style replicated. As we continue along the path, we can see the part of the lake that we actually finished up with our drip leaf and uh, a lot of bone meal inside and our drip stone as well which I think looks really nice, as well as these cattails. The lake itself looks great, and you can see we've worked on this area quite a bit, but there are certain areas like over there and um, that we just haven't quite finished. Early on in the series, we worked on this bee farm because we wanted to work with copper, and this one was our kind of bee breeding area, this one was our wax, and this one was our honey bottles. And I love the little kind of overgrown garden feel in here, um, and each of these little houses were the first in this style that we did, and the roof I find looks great. As we walk around here, and we get up to a um, another little bit of uh, rock outcropping texture that, yeah, I really like that. And we can work our way around up here to another house in the style of our starter house. It's a little different on the interior, but still quite nice and would work well as a starter base. We have a little garden here for their needs and our little kind of water source that leads down into our lake. We continue around here. We have a little bridge over our um, river and we go around into this other tree house, which I think has probably my favorite kind of window style maybe. Um, but we just wanted to experiment with different window styles. And we also wanted to experiment with different blocks. So in the inside, we have blackstone floor with some calcite diorite on the side. And up at the top, another little bedroom with a nice view. And as we walk around, we never finish this path, but this leads over into the area where we have our parrots. We have this uh, lovely uh, path area with some custom trees, which I really did want to continue around here. Um, but you know, life gets in the way sometimes and a Minecraft is kind of never ending and I don't think you would ever really be finished. We have our parrot section and the parrots are still alive, including the one that's on the lightning rod, but I do like the little details of the nests here. And this one has a corner window, which gives a lovely kind of panoramic view. And then as you walk through this path, it leads to our kelp area. Again, each of these little houses or areas has their own little garden, so they could be self-sustainable. We have our kelp growing area. We have our little kelp drying um, kind of setup here. Around here, we have our salt and dried kelp. And using the dried coral and the cracked bricks to kind of give it a aged feel. And then inside, we didn't do anything. And down underneath our um, base, we have these two tanks, one with a conduit inside and the other one, which has our geode in it. And I really like the um, dark prismarine and copper combination in here. And I think that is a combination we could play with in a future series. So with one last look at this place with some shaders on, we're left with saying thank you so much for watching for this series. And I am really looking forward to seeing what happens in the next series. Please do let me know what your favorite build was in this series and what you're looking forward to the most in series two. And until next time, bye-bye.